This town has many blessings, and one of them is Ken Templeman, our world-class town crier. Please bring us your cry. And now it's my pleasure to introduce, as Clerk of the Court, a man who's contributed much to this town, Ron Emo. Thank you so much. The rain is stopping. Things are going to be good. I'm, I'm very honored to be serve as Clerk of the Court and to guide you through this next ceremony, which will be the most half an hour unless Richard gets talking really long. But uh, I do declare that this is a court of affirmation, reaffirmation of our Canadian citizenship, and since it will be presided over by Lieutenant General Romer, who is an officer of the Order of Canada, therefore it is a duly constituted court and deserves the respect of, of, of as any other court would. When the, when the judge, Lieutenant General Romer, enters the court, will be called to order by the officer of the court, who is Constable James Robertson, and you'll be asked to stand, because you're already standing, so not a big deal. And uh, the Lieutenant General will address you. Following that, we will instruct you to raise your right hand if you, if you wish and repeat the oath of affirmation of our, of our country. So with all that, I will escort the Lieutenant General in. Color party. All stand. Left hand. Shoot. Okay, my turn. Left hand. Lieutenant. All goodness. You're doing the American thing. <laughs> Give me hell. Order in the court. Order in the court. As you are able, please rise for his honor. Thank you, Constable. Color party. Stand at ease. Are you all set, Constable? I am, Your Honor. And is my clerk set? Yes. And it's left hand. <laughs> 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 that was cute. That was cute. <laughs> too, too much American television. <laughs> there you go. This is indeed for me and for my beautiful wife, but it's somewhere. 
Oh, there you are, Peter. <laughs> 68 years tomorrow. There no. Go. No. 68. Come on. 68 tomorrow. I want to say a few words to you about this magnificent country that relates to a fellow called John A. MacDonald. In November of 1866, MacDonald was the Minister of Militia Affairs. A big team of Fathers of Confederation were already in London to negotiate with the British for what we ultimately call the British North America Act. But MacDonald couldn't go because as Minister of Militia Affairs, he had to deal with the Fenians. Are there any Irish people here today? <laughs> <laughs> the problem was that the Fenians, the Irish in, uh, North, in America, wanted to conquer Canada and were coming across the border quite often to attack Niagara and Detroit. Well, uh, McDonald was supposed to go across in, at the end of August, but this is November. He finally made it because he knew that the Fenians, Irish as they were, uh, would be, as soon as they saw the snow flying, would head for the nearest bar in the United States <laughs> and never be seen again until the spring. That's a fact. I'll give you nothing but fact. So to speak. So to speak. He went across and the team was already there. Carchi, Golf, all the rest of them. And they welcomed him. Uh, McDonald began his negotiations with Lord Carnarvon, the Minister of Foreign Affairs in the capital of the day in England. And if you've seen the great television program, uh, what is the name of it? Uh, okay. The great British television. No, 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 no. Fawlty Tower. Downton Abbey. <laughs> Downton Abbey is the place we're, where we're close McDonald and the team began to negotiate with Karen Arbor. And when you see that great capital, we have a piece of history there. McDonald got married, found his bride, and got married in London, England, in the middle of the winter period, as they were negotiating. And uh, a wonderful woman, a wonderful marriage. And then ultimately the negotiations were completed with the, with the British cabinet. And in uh, March, the British North America Act was passed by the British Parliament. And so it was time for uh, MacDonald to return home with its victorious team. And Confederation was assured, and it was to take place on the first day of July, 